One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what, and Breeder, and she's out here helping. And what I've got here for you today is the Blue Bitty Boogie Bug. And that's a cool name they gave this little car, and I'm gonna do this walk around. Here we go. Call me if you're interested in this car. Nathan, 406 546 8748. We'll talk to you. And what I got here for you today is a pretty sweet little car. Sure, it's not everybody's car, but it's a cool car nonetheless. This would be one of the coolest cars at the car show that you could just kind of sit there in your little lawn chair, answer questions while people oogle and goggle and giggle over your car. They'll definitely giggle. I was pulling this home on my 26 foot trailer and I'll tell you what, some of the looks we were getting when I was backing this thing in because 26 foot trailer, this don't take up much room on a 26 foot trailer. It's a small car, it's 100% electric, and it's a 1980 commuter car, city car, and there's a couple more names they had for them. Commuter Vehicles is the name of the company. Um, this is one of the last ones where you're gonna have more of the options and stuff. And there's some things about this one that's kinda cool up above and beyond the fact that it's a 100% electric car. It's had some upgrades and additions by somebody who was pretty darn smart. He's an engineer or something, and I actually called him up and talked to him for a while. And I'm going to show you down underneath. As you can see, my shadows are creeping up on me right there. And I've almost lost my day job, <laughs> my daytime. Underneath, absolutely beautiful. I didn't touch it up here or nothing. You can see it's just got some patina on the springs and such. Um, tires seem in good shape. It takes a trailer tire. Um, a little titty still on the side. All this stuff, I did touch it here. This is an exterior review. Now, I should have blown this out a little bit, but I didn't. So you got some dust on it. He had some styrofoam separating the batteries, and there's a wood floor in this battery box that should be replaced at some point. Um, all this stuff here, it should have been shot down and blown up and cleaned up a little better. Like that is all just dust on here, just dust. It's just, this was forgotten to be picked up because we forgot the solar panel actually move. Now it's got the solar panel here. Um, do you think these are $49 a pop, but I think it's twice that size. I'm not sure. Um, you can look on eBay and such. It's got really cool little lines in the front. It's a cool, cool car. I think that charges something, but I'm not sure what. Now that's where we're gonna be a little short on telling you what this thing is all about because I don't know a lot of the stuff about this thing. I am not a city car, electric car professional. Now this car will go on my YouTube, Cereal Marshmallows, and then it will go on eBay and my website. Hopefully on YouTube, some of my subscribers who are much smarter than me on lots of cars will be able to help me out. It's a cobweb there, it comes free with it. Now there's the motor. I rebuilt the motor. Um, you can see the nice bright blue in front of the Dana axle actually. Um, now it's got batteries. And actually, we were working on this thing and all of a sudden it started buzzing at us. And it actually started taking a solar charge. But at this point, I'm pretty sure you're gonna need to be replacing batteries. They've been in here for a while. Now, it was last registered in 2013. And one of the main reasons the guy got rid of it was replacing the batteries. Now, I get batteries from a guy that does batteries a whole different way and he gives me refurbished, nice batteries, cheap. In fact, I'll show you the battery. This is a core I have. These are two batteries from him and you can see that one I just got on 316 and 216. These two batteries are brand new, well brand new refurbished. I get them for 35 a pop and this one here I got for specifically for my winch. This is a $350 Optima yellow top high performance stinking heavy duty battery. He'll get you these if you want. He also got me these, which are good, regular RV batteries. So on just a regular RV battery, you'll be about 50 bucks a piece. And I might as well just tell you in this video how exactly that works. There's two in the back. And like I say, it's not just a regular one. These are a heavy duty, heavy cycle RV type boat, trailer battery, whatever you want to call it. Um, now these two wires here, actually wire up to the solar panel to recharge this one. Now this back solar panel was stolen from me. Thank you whoever did that. And that's the piece that kind of holds it between there and there. So basically you'd want to get a nice panel for this. 
He actually had a double panel on the back one here. Okay, so, huge panel on the top. Now I can get you whatever you want on batteries. I might as well say, you might as well get them for me because you're not gonna get them any cheaper. There's two there, or get them wherever you want. I'm not trying to upsell you on batteries. Two there, and the cores are um, 10 to 15 bucks. And then I think there's two under the seat. I'm gonna continue on with the exterior review to where this is a exterior review, and I'll show you the two in the seat in the interior video. And there's also a little battery too. Okay, with this in mind, I'm going to show you up close any dents, dings, damages, crackage, or anything else like this. Um, you're not gonna get rust on this. This is a fiberglass vehicle. Now, if you're gonna repaint this and redo this, you could pop a rivet here, and you could pop a rivet here. There is a slight crack right there. I'm sure you can see, my hands are filthy. I've been working on this thing. There, and some spidering starting there. Spider-Man. Now, the worst thing on this is right here, where there was some cracking in here, and my really, really competent help from a while back went ahead and blew a hole in it for me. The power washer. Just right up on it, man. I don't even wanna think about it. Light, dry spots in the paint here. A little scuff there. And a light, dry spot coming in there. Um, you're gonna see a little bit of that around it, but this is about the worst of it. There's a crack in it, a little crackage starting here and here. So this should be restructured a little bit, fixed up when you're restoring it, if you do. You know what I would do on this thing? Is drive it like it is, man. It'd just be a blast to drive like it is. Now, I had the motor rebuilt, and that was about a $450 ordeal. Um, charging port. And... That. Windows, everything's in good shape. The mirrors... They could use some upgrading to date. I mean, it'd be easy to get a different mirror that looked better. Um, this is nice, the way this all is. That It's, it's, it's set up. Um, I kind of dig the way you put these on there. That looks pretty slick. Um, okay. With that in mind, going on the sides, it's not dinged or dented up. It's fiberglass. It's not wavy as can be or nothing. It's in good shape. Um, there's a little cracky type thing in that piece um, and the stickers are of course faded over time now you could have them remade of course when you do this there's not that many of these that exist um, I have the keys somewhere now I'm gonna have to find the keys see how it is okay so, <laughs> I'll find the keys later. Crackage and miscellaneous stuff on them logos, as you can see, the vinyl. It's in great shape. Um, other than that, I did fog this in a little bit with some black paint. It kind of looked like the front one, but we actually cleaned it. It wasn't dusty. Um, in the seams, you can see a little bit of fading, or it could be buffed out, and that would come right off. Um, other than that, there's nothing really bad to say. Little drip rails, that's cute. A couple cracks here. All very easy, kind of like doing a Corvette, actually. Now think about that, comparing this car to a Corvette. But any restoration or body stuff is kind of comparable to a Corvette. Um, okay, I've went around the whole thing. I've showed you underneath it. Um, I'm gonna do an interior review when it's a little less sunlight out and this thing gets fully in the shade. Um, I've got all kinds of cars for sale. Check out my website, oneownercarguy.com. Um, you know, there's something in here and then this, and it's kind of a neat setup. Some people I've seen have plywood through to the front. Um, I was going to put a Mercedes bumper on it and stuff. In fact, if you buy this soon, I'll throw in a Mercedes trunk panel to put over the back. But what would be best is to get some more solar panels and put on it. And the solar does recharge things and all that. And just a cool little car. Uh, I think that's pretty much this video. OneOwnerCarGuide.com, BeaglesPocket.com for the cutest beagles around. And that's this video. Thanks for watching. Click at the end of this one or in the description below and you'll be able to see the second video which will show the interior and another walk around at night to where you can see it in a better light. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. There is a scuff right there that I didn't notice before. And this side was pretty clean. And all these rivets are in it. I want to double check that. There is some, uh, well, this, the paint's thin over time above the doors there. 
I didn't mention it, but you can see it here, especially on this side, where the paint's just thin. And it needs to be uh, sanded down and uh, sealed up and repainted if you want to fix that correctly. It's not going to buff out. That's that. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.